Recently, I've been getting a lot of messages from people with a peaked interest in starting their own YouTube channels. So I thought I would kind of go through and talk about what I would do if I were starting a YouTube channel currently. When I first started on YouTube, I was in a period of my life defined by what other people thought of me. I felt that I had to be funny in order to receive the most praise. And the praise I was receiving in my normal life wasn't enough for me anymore, so I turned to YouTube. It's almost embarrassing to say that because yes, I did start my YouTube channel as a means to get more attention for myself because at that time, I validated my existence by what other people said about me. Now, obviously, I've grown out of that, and thank butts that I did, because I'd, I would have smacked myself if I was just... If I were to see myself right now, from back in the day, smacked right in the face. But the reason I'm bringing this up is because the first step in making videos is to ask yourself, what do you want out of YouTube? Now, this can be a little bit tricky, because there really are no wrong answers here, and that's one of the beautiful things about YouTube, is that there really are no wrong ways to do YouTube. If I were to answer that question now, I would say that my goal is to create a community around a story. My story. Let me clarify that a little bit, because that sounds very douchebaggy. My life inspires my videos so that when I'm living a better life, my content is therefore more compelling. YouTube is a motivator for me to live a better life because when I live a better life, I can then talk about the life that I'm living to you guys. It's kind of a cyclical thing. And hopefully then, my story will create some kind of discussion around that. So yeah, that's my answer to question number one. The next important question to ask yourself when starting a YouTube channel is who am I? It's crucial to know what you're good at, what skills you bring to the table so that you know what the best type of content for you to create is. You should never ever feel forced into creating a type of content that you're not good at. That's not the point of this. Because that's when YouTube becomes frustrating and feels like a chore because you're not doing what you actually love. For me, my skills primarily lie in presenting myself. I've done a lot of storytelling and comedy in the past, so those are the skills that I rely on to tell my story in the most effective way possible. The final and most important question, in my opinion, to ask is this. What is YouTube? For some, YouTube is a launch pad into a career for entertainment. For others, it's just a fun hobby. Again, there really are no wrong answers here. But it's so important to define what this is for you. My definition of what YouTube is to me is in kind of a state of flux right now. I would love if this became my job in the future. What person wouldn't? But the main reason I want this to be my job is so that I have more time to do this and do this more effectively. Because to me, YouTube isn't a launch pad. It isn't a hobby. It's a passion. It's something that I've invested myself, heart and soul, 100% into. It's a space for learning, but not in a typical sense, because I use YouTube as a place to learn about myself. These three questions are questions that I like to ask myself uh, on a regular basis, so that I make sure that I'm doing this thing for the right reasons. But obviously, this video was made with the intention to encourage you guys to create. If you're on the fence about starting a channel, hopefully this video can be the catalyst to push you over that fence. I'm trying to knock you off that fence, Humpty Dumpty style, backhand, right to your egg face. What am I saying? But to kind of help you guys get started, here's what we're gonna do. Leave me a video response answering these three questions. What do I want? Who am I? And what is YouTube? Feel free to interpret these questions however you want. In fact, I encourage that. Go to town with your interpretations. Maybe even dance it. I don't know. I don't know who you are. Answer that's question number two. I honestly cannot wait to see the video responses because I will be watching every single one of them because this is sort of the thing that really excites me about this is the potential to encourage other people to do this thing because I love it so much. But that's all I got. As always, I'm Connor Manning. You've just become a little more awesome and I will see you guys on Monday. <laughs>